Greetings again, everyone. It's great to be with you. I'm Pastor John from Napanee Baptist Church here in Southern Ontario. I hope you're doing well. And what we do during these pastoral visits is we just read the Word of God together and we pray and we commit our day to the Lord. So we're doing a little series in the book of Proverbs. So if you can turn there to Proverbs chapter 13, Proverbs chapter 13, starting with verse 15 to the end of the chapter. It says, Good judgment wins favor, but the way of the unfaithful leads to their destruction. All who are prudent act with knowledge, but fools expose their folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy brings healing. Verse 18, whoever disregards discipline comes to poverty and shame, but whoever heeds correction is honored. A longing fulfilled is tweet sweet to the soul, but fools detest turning from evil. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Verse 21, trouble Trouble pursues the sinner, but the righteous are rewarded with good things. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. An unplowed field produces food for the poor, but injustice sweeps it away. Verse 24, whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. Verse 25, the righteous eat to their heart's content, but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry. And again, these proverbs, they are what we call parallel proverbs, where they sometimes parallel each other, and then sometimes they are opposite, where you have one phrase in the proverb that says one thing, and like something to do with the righteous, and then the the phrase and the, the next phrase in the prov, proverb says the complete opposite. Okay, um, I like verse 21. It says, "Trouble pursues the sinner, but the righteous are rewarded good things." And then verse 25, the righteous eat to their heart's content, but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry. And this is just an encouragement for all of us that when we are right with God, when he gives us his righteousness, we can eat to our heart's content. That means he will fill us and fulfill us and satisfy us because he is the bread of life that's who jesus said he was and he gives us spiritual nourishment spiritual food every day and we can eat to our heart's content but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry and you see that spiritually speaking people who don't know the lord who uh, are not saved, they are looking and searching for answers, they are looking for spiritual food, and they search, and they search, and they go hungry, they starve. And that's something we need to really be thankful for, that the Lord can give us what we need, no matter what we're going through. He gives to the righteous. He lets them eat to their heart's content. That means he fills us up to overflowing. And we don't need anything. When we have Jesus as our Savior, when he is in our lives, we don't need anything. God is our sufficiency. He meets all of our needs. What a wonderful encouragement. And I just pray and hope that you are experiencing that right now and during this entire crisis this pandemic that we're going through 
that you would just come to a fuller understanding even of the fact that God will meet every need. The righteous never go hungry. They are always satisfied. So God bless you. May you have a great day. Keep looking to the Lord. We're halfway through this week. And God is good. And he is blessing us. We're very encouraged here at the church. We are excited about what God is doing and what he has in store for us. And as things start to open up even more, it's going to be uh, incredible what God will do. And we just get that sense that God has something really, really wonderful in store for us as a church family. So take care. Have a wonderful day. Let's just pray together as we close. Father, we just thank you again for this Wednesday. I thank you for everyone who's watching. And I thank you most of all that you are a God who never allows the righteous to go hungry. That you satisfy us. That you meet our needs. That you give us exactly what we need. Not maybe necessarily what we want, but what you know we need. And so we thank you that you are our great sufficiency. You are the one who helps us and provides for us and delivers us and gives us every good and perfect gift. And we give you praise for that. Be with each one who's watching. Meet each need. There might be someone who's really struggling today. And I pray that you would draw close and whatever they're struggling with, I pray that you would fulfill that need that you would meet them where they are at and that you would bless and supply lord we thank you and praise you that you are a god of salvation that you sent your one and only son to die for us to meet that underlying spiritual need that we all have that need of having our sins forgiven and then we have that assurance and that hope now that you will meet every need and that you will supply our needs and that you will continue to lead us home to heaven and to a wonderful eternal life. And so, Lord, we just give you this day. We thank you for it and we bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. God bless. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.